Hello friend, it's uh, Boris Legend here and today we have a new recap video from for Champions and I'm not going to lie to you guys, this was my worst weekend league ever with the 36 wins but it has its logical explanations because I changed my controller settings this weekend uh, from uh, low to none on the auto switch uh, move assistance and this uh, completely changed your structure in your gameplay and it takes time to adapt but for me this is a long term investment. And you might ask, what is the difference? Well, with the low, the AI helps you more in the defense and in the attack to make runs and to cover up the spaces. And uh, that sounds better, yeah. And yes, in general, it is better, just like I explained in my controller settings tutorial. But, uh, you know, sometimes the AI makes things and makes run that you really, really don't want. And I feel so confident in my gameplay, in my defense and in my attack that I think that I can take my gameplay to the next level by using none. And we'll simply see, only time can tell if this is a good change or not. But this weekend it was a disaster, I mean uh, this was the team that I was using, you can see some new players I was trying out, uh, Kellini and uh, also Bale uh, to be able to use uh, Dybala, but the thing is you can also see here in-game formation 4-3-1-2 this weekend, thing is with Kellini that uh, there are so many special cards now, so many fast players that he is simply too slow even when you use Shadow, I mean his uh, acceleration is a bit uh, too slow and uh, Luis on uh, 7 cam was uh, my best uh, defender this weekend and uh, the wingbacks Alexander and Walker are also uh, very very good but maybe I think not as good as uh, DeMarcos and Marcelo and Courtois in the goal this weekend was actually a disaster. On the midfield we have a Dele Alli as the anchor in midfield, the CM and he was very very good for me and also Modric as a right centre mid and Bale this weekend was a bit poor probably because I, I'm used to have uh, players like Team of the Year Marcelo and uh, so on, Team of the Year players and Bale is simply, I mean he is very good but he is a bit uh, edgy and a bit uh, clumsy in the ball and also his defence sometimes is uh, lacking. And Messi as a cam Brilliant and also Ronaldo and Dybala as strikers and you can see here also their stats and on the bench we have Son I had his 88 card the first uh, 30 games and then I got his uh, uh, player of the month card which uh, I played two games with and actually scored one goal and that was also a very very crucial goal. Custom tactics same as last weekend but after game number 30 I made a change because as you know I changed my controller settings to none. And this uh, makes your defense, it doesn't help you run back and cover the deep passes as much as when you're using low. So I had problems with 60 pressure some games. So when I went down to 40, I felt more comfortable and I think I will continue with this until I feel more confident using uh, the non-switching assistance. And you know it, in the game we changed from our pre-chem formation to have a full chemistry to change to this time 4-3-1-2. This weekend uh, I vary from the diamond to the 4-3-1-2 and uh, instructions are very, very simple guys. Get in behind for both strikers and stay back for the wingbacks. Time for my best games and the first opponent here is uh, Melich 8 with this uh, French trio up front. And uh, he will get the first chance here but uh, you can see how we work with the defense and 8 out of 10 times. The opponent is going to try to cut inside and we read him and uh, Ali here just uh, cutting off this uh, passing lane into the middle is a uh, great defending here from Dele Ali with his uh, long legs. A failed offside trap leads to this uh, pass here, triangle pass and then a tap finish here from Ali, a bit lucky but uh, it was still nice timing with the passes and uh, here he gets the chance and scores. And you can see the replay here how we make a cross run with Luis instead of pushing up with Kalini and falling back with Luis here. You can see how we uh, make it uh, a bit tricky for us in the defense and he's able to score but this is a nice attack. It's a lot of fast passing here and uh, Ronaldo opens up the defense with this uh, body feint just waiting for Bale with the triangle pass and finding him and then a normal shot in the far post and we have the second goal in this game. And here's some nice defending you can see how he gets a chance but we push out with Kalini and we are aggressive as soon as he turns around we just uh, make the interception and guys right stick switching here you can see right stick switching with Alexandre it's so so good defending and then just disarming him 
in the last moment. And here Marcelo, body feint backwards, you know it, and then find a pass into the middle of normal X pass and a finesse shot in the near post. And we have the third crucial goal in this game against this uh, tough opponent. Great defending here from Modric and going for the counter-attack. Some um, uh, nice body feint here from Dybala to open up some uh, space and making the transition to Dele Alli. And he has a very, very powerful shot. And we have the fourth goal in this game. Luis here, great one versus one defending. Just holding down L2 and uh, reading his skill moves. And then going for the counter attack. You can see uh, fast passing, finding Dybala. And we have the finish in the far post. And that is 5-1 and it's GG. Agent Lucy with uh, Griezmann and Martial. And also Bale, Pogba, Kante. It's a nice team once again. And we will get the first chance here. And Modric uh, finds his way through the wings. And... Uh, Speed boost on the wing, a driven pass and a tap in, it's so so nice attacking, it's a simple goal and we have the first opening goal. Bale here finds Dybala and we're gonna do it once again, first uh, a shoot stop and then a uh, driven pass to Modric and we have the second goal in this game and here some nice defending, right stick switching to Kalini and before he gets control of the ball, bam we have it, a great interception and we keep the lead here. To nil. And he has only one option here. You can see this is his only option and we're holding down L2 to get better control of our defender and just turning the direction and then just disarming Pogba here with a nice standing tackle. Great uh, read here from Modric, uh, finds Dybala, uh, shooting feint and just running through the empty space. So so simple attacking and we have the third goal and this is some uh, great anticipation here from Modric and just uh, blocking off this uh, dangerous passing gate and just holding down L2 and uh, cutting off this pass. Messi here with a drag back uh, finding a bail one touch pass trying a pass to Dybala it's a one touch finish a normal shot and we have the fourth goal in this game 4-0 here Kalini great defending so aggressive bad passing but uh, Dele Alli gets the ball back with a standing tackle it's a manual low pass and we are a bit lucky here getting the ball, finding the ball with the pass and that is 5-0. Okay, time for uh, Forza Barca with uh, Dybala, like I said, and some more tasty players and also he has uh, Marquisio on loan. And we get the best start here, it's a nice attack, we have the patience, we have the transitions, we are opening up his defense, we have the motion, we have the fast passing, finding Ronaldo here with the driven pass in the far post and we have... <laughs> driven pass, driven shot in the far post and we have the first goal, a uh, nice defending here from Luis, you can see here how we keep holding down the double man pressure here and Modric makes a nice interception, the AI makes a great uh, interception, we will have uh, one more chance here, fast passing once again, Ronaldo here and uh, body think backwards opening up his defense, I should have done one more touch here but uh, yeah, Modric misses the target. And here we use the R1 pressure again, the double man pressure, because we are running back with Dele Alli. We need some more people in the defense. And here he still uh, gets around, and we make some fast switching here. Right stick switching to Luis, and then the standing tackle button to just uh, push uh, Dybala off here. And we keep the lead 1-0. And this nice defending leads to uh, our chance to attack here. Bale just running down the wing and uh, trying to find his teammates. And eventually he will find the Dele Alli here and then Messi just with the skill dribbling and the shoot, the shot in the far post. And it's uh, actually a weird interception by Button. But who cares, we have the second goal and a great block here from Kalini. Dybala here with the scoop turn and then a very very tight angle. He makes a body feint, he somehow gets uh, through finding Messi here with the normal finish in the near post. And we have the third goal in this game. And here great defending and just falling back here and... Uh, Covering off this uh, low pass, great defending here from uh, Kalini, and we have still the lead here. Amazing uh, set piece. Uh, you can see just jumping over the ball and passing it to no one. But uh, I'll have a corner shortly after. Messi here finds Ronaldo, and this is actually very lucky. I was laughing when I scored this goal. You can see here how uh, I eventually get the ball and scoring the fourth goal here. Uh, some great uh, defending here from Alexander. You can see here how we switch uh, with the right stick and then just being extremely aggressive and making the standing tackle. It's uh, textbook uh, defending. He gets the chance here, but once again, great, great defending. As soon as we get the chance to make the standing tackle, we make it perfectly here with Kalini. But uh, he will get the goal. Uh, we switch off a little bit here and focus too much on the ball and forget about uh, blocking off this uh, deep pass and he scores 4-1. But still, it's a nice victory. 
Stoke City Stadium. I would never play the stadium usually, but I was lazy this weekend, guys. I just played all stadiums. I played no warm-up games. I had three of my four losses were the first games with no warm-up, and this was one of the uh, these games with no warm-up on this stadium. And then just look at this. What is this? Is this sponsoring for Umbro? It's just diamonds on the field, and it really confused me. And uh, I played so bad this game, but I can't blame myself here. I can blame myself because I have to cover off uh, this first post. But I mean, who allows stadiums like this and who creates stadiums like this? But the biggest question is, who plays stadiums like this? Well, this guy did. And here Kalini is a bit slow. He gets a rebound and scores the second goal. And then Kalini is once again a bit slow and he scores this long shot. And it's a very, very weird uh, intervention by Courtois and we have our first loss and I'm only going to show you two of my four losses this weekend because it's simply too much editing I lost one more game with 4-3 and one with the 3-1 and it's uh, you know it's simply too much editing showing my mistakes here's his core yeah you can see he gets the ball back and it's a great finish actually and he scores the first goal but we'll get the one goal back here a body fin backwards a great move from Messi Dele Alisson skill dribbling it's onside Ronaldo with the tap finish and we have one one and we'll get the one last chance here Dele Alli but hits the side of the post and it takes uh, it's a penalty shootout and we hit the post once again and he had these uh, tricky weak uh, penalty kicks that are very hard to save and then Son uh, shoots and uh, his goalkeeper saves it with his legs and he scores Ronaldo scores and here our goalkeeper has to save it but this guy had uh, tricky penalty kicks and he won the game <laughs> A more happy subject, time for my greatest comebacks and this uh, was against this opponent with a very nice team, team of the Ronaldo and team of the Marcelo and he was also a skilled opponent and he was going to get the first goal, I can show you here a normal mistake, I have to switch here and cover the right side but uh, it's a mistake in the defense, he scores the first goal and this second goal is also very nice from him, it's a nice pass to Ronaldo and one touch finish and he's 2-0 to my opponent and I go up to balance here I always start my game with defensive and here finding a great manual pass to Ronaldo finish it and it's 2-1 it's contact in this game and then Dele Alli driven past the Sona scoop turn and it's a finesse shot in the near post and we have 2-2 in the game and a great change here we go up to 3-4-1-2 to match his 4-2-3-1 because this is a great uh, counter formation to the 4 2 3 1 you can also see here our instructions and this gave a result quickly just uh, making it simple the simple game of FIFA just running down the wing and passing it to the middle and Ronaldo here with a cheeky finish and we have 3 2 in this game but it was not over yet because we were going to score one more it's a failed offside trap here and we have an open chance to score and we make a triple tap cross and it's uh, messy here with the finish and we have 4-2 and that is GG okay so 36 wins guys that is embarrassing for me I mean uh, the first time where I finish all my games and I get below 37 and uh, yeah I still upload this because it's uh, educational purpose and uh, after all I mean I was changing my controller settings and hopefully next week and we're going to see some better results as I said before it's a long-term investment I hope anyways guys so this week we have some more nice videos coming tomorrow I will have um, tips and tricks videos how to make a great uh, silver gold hybrid for this uh, weekend and also on Thursday I will have a new tutorial so don't miss that one if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and also subscribe if you haven't already, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, until next time.